Hello everybody, welcome to AD Wars Christian Mythology, the side of ours card game. Dun, dun, dun. You must have a deck of 51 cards, some pen and a paper, and you must keep track of everything. Um, where How many cards are in your burn pile, how many cards are in your vanish zone, number of characters in play, how many resources you have. Um, now, let me bring down the finer points of the game, okay? Leaking can mean, if it's read it, if it's worded like this, leak the top five cards of your deck, of your book of life. Leak the top five cards of your book of life. It actually means you just look at them. If it says, leak a card off the top of your deck, it means you're drawing into it. If it says, leak this many cards, and put them in the vanish zone or burn pile, it means that you take the top cards and you put them into one of those zones. Okay? Um, now, uh, there are three ways to win the game predominantly. Solving three riddles, uh, which means you meet their requirements and you put them in a separate vanish zone, the riddles that you solve. Uh, there is resolving 15 characters before your opponent resolves 15 of their 16. You're only allowed 16 characters in your deck. So choose wisely. There is a ban card right now. It's on the ousted list. The reason why I said ban is because a lot of people are familiar with a ban list. No, we're not calling it that. We're calling it an ousted list. Think about the Holy Bible. And think about the different zones of play. You have the land, you have the book of life, you have the burn pile, the banish zone, and you have your wisdom, which is your hand. Leaking, you have leaking, which leaking is resolved in the Bible. Le leaking is a word in the Bible. Um, L E A K I N G, or L E A K. Okay? So. <clears throat> In order to play this game, the character uh, that comes into play first that provides you with all your resources, um, that character is the only character that you can use to play resources. It's like if you start out with something that only has the value of 2 plus 3, your total is 5 that you can use to resolve your characters. Uh, Angel of Compassion produces 30. So he is on the reserve list, which the reserve list is also found in the Holy Bible reserves. Um, and the reserve list means you can only have two copies. Uh, you have to have three copies, or, or not have to, but it's advisable that you run three copies of every card that you can run three copies of uh, when building a deck. Now let me talk about fine-tuning deck skills. You want to align your deck with the big powerhouse creatures if you're running a, or the big powerhouse characters if you're running a character based deck. Okay, if you're running it only to resolve riddles, you want to load it up with as many riddles as you possibly can. Riddles, there's sin decks, there's turn of event decks, and there's character decks. Those are the four predominant main cards. And the prior to that was, was a card game called Garden of Eden, Garden of Eden, N-O-D. There were like seven card types, including location. Location cards were that that allowed you to um, put your character. Uh, let me see. I got lost in my train of thought. So, uh, yeah, Garden of Eden, N-O-D. <clears throat> it was a game that revolved around decking your opponents out. And um, you did this by attacking in with your characters and it hits their deck directly. Uh, that was the original synopsis. Synopsis is a 32 page or however many page rule booklet. In my case, it was a 32 page rule booklet that explained every facet about the game. There are only four card types in AD Wars. Character, Sin, Turn Event, and Riddle. 
I kept it pretty basic. Heart, spades, clubs, diamonds. Tournament, riddle, same character. Okay. Um, so, there's also other abilities on the cards. Like knowledge phase. Or knowledge step. It went uh, curse step, knowledge step. Curse step is where you resolve everything back into play. All the resources and stuff that got banished the turn before. So your character is your utility for resolving things that you want to resolve. Uh, if you resolve a 30, basically you can play everything in your hand on turn 1. That's why Angel of Compassion is reserved to 2 in 51 card deck. Um, and actually that might turn into a 62 card deck or 59 card deck eventually down the road. The deck size. It, we're still in playtesting mode of the game. Um, the game is in development, still currently as we speak. And I hope to uh, give players a little insight. Okay, so now at the beginning of your uh, corrupt phase, which or your corruption step, which is the beginning of the turn, you may resolve three resources from your hand, lay them down into play face down when you need to play something that costs you know like let's say the number is one that means you will burn and banish one resource so you're not only burning but you're banishing one you're allowed to play three a turn so the banished ones can come back into play the burn ones stay in the burn pile um more on characters. Characters may duel with other characters. Um, it's a barter trade system. Whoever has the lowest total in the barter trade wins the barter trade. And then the characters are handed over to the uh, player who has the lowest. The player who wins the, uh, the uh, battle. The duel. Uh, so there's a Corruption phase, then it goes into a draw phase, which is called leaking or knowledge phase. Then there is a uh, first main phase, a uh, barter trader step, and an end phase, or an end step. It, I kept it pretty simple with five. Corruption, knowledge, first main phase. Uh, and uh, barter trade, end of turn. Anyways, it's similar to other card games in the phase in the phase part, but my card game is unique in the fact that your characters don't die; they get shifted back and forth between each player. So, like, let's say your opponent has a total of twenty points between the character cost and how much it produces. So it's a total of 20. With four, you have five and you're at 15. You would gain all four of your opponent's characters on your side. That's how the barter trade works. Now, um, the first to resolve 15 characters wins the game. This is basically your core rule booklet. Turn of events, they are clearly marked turn of event. They have blue up top, white for the picture, black down at the bottom with white warning. Uh, sins, they're a red card. It says sin going down here, the number it costs, the text box, and the name of the card right here with a blank picture underneath the name of the card. Characters, same thing, but characters are black with white warning. And then riddle, they're purple with, I think, yellow wording. In yellow number and it says riddle anyways this is a rendition of the booklet thank you